good job. It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out five best and five worst WWE Money in the Bank cash ins. WWE Money in the Bank is coming up. It's the next pay per view, so you know they're gonna have the traditional women's and men's Money in the Bank ladder match. And there have been some fantastic Money in the Bank cash ins, and there's also been some horrible, just in my opinion character destruction cash ins in wwe i think we can all agree money in the bank isn't as uh, important as it should be or as it used to be anytime someone won money in the bank back in the day when they first created it you knew that person was going to be the next star up to be one of the top champions and now it's not the same it doesn't have that same feel like it used to so we're gonna check this out man appreciate all the love and support and check this video out man and uh let's get right into this thing briefcases are great you can keep lots of things in a briefcase files lunch the affection you withhold from your son which inevitably leads him to try and fail to become an entertainer in his adult years did i already say lunch <laughs> and also a contract for a world title match at the time of your choosing money in the bank remains the most significant addition to wwe in the last 15 years with mm -hmm. other wrestling companies getting in on the whole briefcase equals opportunity visual storytelling and like yep. anything that's been around for 15 years it's had some real highs and lows edge's first ever cash and set a fairly high standard it's been used to execute multiple yeah. Yes. great heel turns and no matter who remembers that uh it was after an elimination chamber john cena uh still had his championship bloody battered and blue bruised and then that's when you think you know me oh he cashed in and won the championship we had the rated r superstar era i like when he changed the belt to his logo it was oh man he was such a sick heel bro such a sick heel man and it's it's so fitting that he will be facing potentially roman reigns at this year's money in the bank no what you say, I cannot dunk on Brock using it as a boom Brock's and shucking and jiving like Friedrich Von Trapp. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Vanilla Ice. To celebrate the upcoming paper, <laughs> we decided that. to try a slightly different kind of list, looking at both the best <laughs> and the worst cash ins. Let us know if you like it or prefer a straight 10. These are the five best and five worst money that. in the bank the, cash ins. The, the and while you're case. here, did you know you can cash in your subscribe in a bank briefcase? If you click subscribe, to, to the video you've cashed in and well done no well done number f <laughs> best number five bailey bailey is the fucking best as a heel with the most wonderfully obnoxious catch for shout out to bbb big booty bailey man let's, let's shout out to bbb man ever or as a babyface genuinely bringing grown ass humans to tears with her courage and fortitude wwe occasionally forgets about bailey but she always delivers so it makes sense she'd have one of the most triumphant cash-ins of all time and easily the best of the win it and cash it on the same night brigade sorry kane sorry alexa sorry dean wrestling is at its best when the crowd all furiously chant for one thing and that one thing happens mm -hmm. case in point money in the bank 2019 bailey won the briefcase earlier in the show after wwe had forgotten about her for a bit then Charlotte beat Becky for the SmackDown belt with the help of her dad's favorite granddaughter, Lacey Evans. The crowd chanted for Bailey, and then out she came. Babyface of yep. baby faces, not that. biding her time, not lying in wait, riding in from the east to mm -hmm. help a friend. An exact righteous vengeance on Charlotte, who could have taken her title and gone home, but had to be a goddamn flair about it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely brilliant, and a moment you should all rewatch now. That was a good Worst cashier. number five, Asuka. No, look look it's it's sweet it was a very nice moment of Asuka being super happy for becky at a super nice time but putting all of that empathy to one side giving someone a title belt in wrestling is fucking bollocks okay. i don't care if you're new Dad. all right I, I i see where he's going with that at this time i remember uh um oscar was uh you know going to be the next person up for the Raw Women's uh, title. And um, Becky Lynch was going away to have a child. Like, she was going away to have a child, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that she ended up just getting gifted the title was was kind of... Uh, <laughs> that, that, in a sense, that doesn't work. You know what I'm saying? Any combat sports where you're trying to get a title, that that definitely doesn't work. So...
day and street profits swapping tag belts like panini stickers. Jeff Jarrett giving Mark Henry the European title because he did him a favor. Or Andre gifting the winged eagle to DiBiase. You don't buy a title like you would an Emmy. Win it, yeah. bastard. Which makes it all the I more get, disappointing get that Asuka, point. at the peak of her unpredictable dancer slash murderous split personality phase, was just handed the title in a gift bag after leaving Becky's impromptu baby shower. Proof positive of two things. One, that children are the worst. They take every good thing from us. And two, Money in the Bank 2020 was f cursed. As Otis would turn his briefcase into a lunchbox, lose yeah. both it and his best friend to The Miz, who would then yeah, cash in awful. in what's possibly the least effectual, successful cash-in ever, losing the title to Bungle's yeah. Lollipop after only eight days. Yeah, this was just... Yeah. Need a freelancer? Go to Fiverr.com and find one I didn't watch that Money in the Bank. I know. Hell no. Best number four. Randy Orton. Oh, WWE, how you play with our emotions. The Money oh, in the Bank man. briefcase is one of WWE's favorite ways of giving the fans something and then yanking it away like a dollar on a yep. string. This isn't necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes it is. Here's looking at you, Alberto Del Rio, interrupting the summer of punk for no good f***ing reason. Yeah, but sometimes was... it's a heartbreaker in all the best ways. Cue Randall Keith Orton. To when I say I watched this pay-per-view, Daniel Bryan winning the match becoming the champion to only get screwed by Triple H who was refereeing to only get screwed to allow Randy Orton to cash in on him when I say the amount of heel heat legitimate heel heat was perfect bro and this created one of the greatest storylines to WrestleMania of all time. Because at this point, he Daniel Bryan was feuding with the authority because he was trying to get his opportunity to win the championship. Oh, it was so good. So goddamn good. Turning heel alongside Triple H at SummerSlam 2013 to form the authority and crush Daniel Bryan's still confetti plastered dreams into a smooth nutritional pace. That was it's great. One of the best emotional bait and switches that WWE's ever done. Proper eye watering triumph to nauseous heart. That was to so good. Rage all being felt by the audience by design, which is something of a rarity these days. With the actual consequences of the cash in lasting for years Ye to come, indirectly yep. giving us the main event of WrestleMania 30, the yep. breakup of the Shield, Team Steena versus Team Authority. All pinging off each other in one big authority angle mm -hmm. at Serpent Lake 2014, WWE's best overall calendar year of the 2010s. Yeah, Worst number four, facts. John Cena. <laughs> Everything about Cena's Money in the Bank reign was bollocks, wasn't it? First of all, the handle broke when you won the thing, and I don't care if it was gimmick, that was weak. Second, of all the people in WWE history who does not need a bit yeah. of paper to get a title shot, it's John show up and book myself in the main event mm -hmm. Cena. After Pretty winning much. the briefcase at Money in the Bank 2012, Cena booked his title match for the main event of Raw 1000 and you know what that whole concept was good didn't need the briefcase to do it, of course but punk versus cena is always a money match mm -hmm. but then well it's the big show audible sigh the first money in the bank cash in to fail via dq at that see up until that point there had been something of an aura around cash ins mm -hmm. even ones booked in advance that the cash in elevated the subsequent match into something guaranteed to be a blockbuster sealed off where true, big and true. important things happen for wwe to bottle it and give us a cheap dq finish is further proof that strapping the case on johnny c was a huge waste yeah, best waste number three rvd now let's oh, talk about a cash -in that was booked in advance and done Right. Yes, RVD cashing in to win the championship is one of the greatest moments in just WWE history, bro. It was so fantastic, man. Love this moment, man. It's so it. magical it brought ECW back from the dead. Facts. Actually, oh no, on second thoughts, <laughs> I hate it. Ronald Van Donald won the briefcase at Mania 22, decorating it like money in the Banksy, before announcing he was cashing it in for Cena Strap at One Night Stand 2006. Yep, RVD was the beloved underdog and throwback to a cherished time for ECW yes. fans, and he was up against the face of sports entertainment uh -huh. on ECW's home turf. It's one of the most highly charged, rawly entertaining crowd. Bro, that was one of the best crowds of all time. I don't think we'll ever see a crowd as so much intense, pure, just wrestling. It, bro, one of the best crowds of all time. They didn't care who was in the ring. If they liked you, loved you, they were going to tell you. If they hated you, like John Cena, he got destroyed in this match. 
by the crowd. They're throwing his shirt back. They're like, screw you, John Cena. We don't give a damn about you. It was all about RVD, man. It was Good great. Work matches of all time with the amount of hatred and bloodlust in the air akin to Christian open mic night at the Coliseum. Yes, there were shenanigans. Edge's interference and Heyman counting the fall dented the triumph slightly. It's not exactly a ringing endorsement of your new brand when their big triumph is preceded by Joey Styles saying, uh, we'll take it, but my God, <laughs> that crowd. So much oh my hate, God. so much love. The actual threat of actual danger if the booking had gone another way. Yeah. Those Hammerstein Ballroom fans would have decapitated John Cena with a full bottle of piss. I believe that. It Facts. is the pinnacle of what proper emotional pro wrestling can be. Worst number three, Braun Strowman. It oh, still like baffles me that Braun you. Strowman doesn't work for WWE anymore. Which is, From 2017 oh to 2018, he was genuinely the hottest property in the company. He was. ambulances, adored by the fans, was tipped to be a potential company figurehead. Uh -huh. and now he's gone. It's even more heartbreaking when you consider the ginormous pop that he got at SummerSlam 2018, two months after winning the briefcase, when he showed up to announce he was cashing in post-match. From that point, so began a series of mistakes that permanently dimmed Strowman's shine. First, mm. the SummerSlam cash-in never actually happened, as Lesnar beat him up, strike yeah. one. Then he turned heel and suddenly needed backup from Ziggler and- Which was so stupid, bro. I want y'all to understand. Braun Strowman still had momentum. Braun Strowman still had the momentum of potentially becoming a new champion. And he turns heel. He was a face at that point by default because he was beating the crap out of Roman Reigns. And then he turns heel. For what? I, oh my God, it was so stupid, bro. They, they, oh my, they ruined Braun Strowman character wise. McIntyre against The Shield, the man who kicked out of six people pinning him at Elimination Chamber early that year, suddenly needed Dolph as a running buddy. That Strike make two. Sense. Finally, the cash-in in advance at Hell in a Cell, where Brock Lesnar arrived, killed both men, ending yep. a Hell in a Cell match in a f***ing no contest. That Lesnar kills Strowman again in Saudi Arabia, and not even beating Goldberg for the Universal title ever made Braun as big a deal or nope. as popular as he had been that one night at SummerSlam where his music played and he strode down to the ring yep. with a briefcase. What a god damn they they ruined him man they definitely ruined his character man and yeah that yeah that shit was not cool shame best number two Dolph Ziggler sometimes one glorious day is enough I don't know where you guys were night after Wrestlemania Alberto Del Rio Del Rio's in the ring selling an injury after a match he's the, he's the world heavyweight champion at the time and then you hear, I'm here to show the world, I'm here to show the world, come on. You hear that. He held the title, the briefcase, for so long. You finally hear it. Crowd goes insane. And he actually cashes in and wins. When I say that clip gives me goosebumps, it was Arguably, there's no doubt about it, Dolph Ziggler's best moment in WWE. No doubt about it. If you might not spend the rest of your career as a main event, you might have your title taken from you as a result of a terribly timed concussion. You might spend the rest of your life screaming, it should have been me. But you'd mm -hmm. always have the night after WrestleMania yep. 29 in front of a capacity crowd, all of whom thought at the time, it should have been Dolph. Mm -hmm. One of the rowdiest, most entertaining roars maybe yep. ever. Dolph finally cashed in money in the bank yes. after holding it for 267 days and it's soaking up more battle damage than Reinhardt. Look at me making Overwatch references five years too late. Finger on the pulse, please subscribe. It's a joyous moment where WWE teased just yep. enough that perennial bridesmaid Ziggler would fail one more time, locking him in a terrifying mm -hmm. armbar before he clawed his way to freedom, dropped Alberto Del Rio with the zigzag, and won his second, but let's be honest, first world championship yep. amidst deafening joy. Only one cash in tops it, probably know what it is, but first, worst number two, Damien Sandow. Yeah, Sandow. Oh dear. Oh, man. Damien Sandow was, was really good, lads. Oh, Aaron Stevens gosh. is still very good in the NWA, to be clear, but the savior of the unwashed masses gimmick oh, was my, my jam. God. Can't think why an arrogant, self-consciously, overtly articulate dick would appeal to me, and I refuse to examine it any further. Point is, Damien Sandow they won the Money dirty. in the Bank briefcase in 2013, they did him turned it into a leather briefcase, and I couldn't possibly love him anymore. But then, 
but then after feuding with Cody Rhodes over the summer, losing that feud, then not appearing on the next two pay-per-views, the night after Hell in the Cell, Sandow cashed in on John Cena, which is the epitome of tugging on Superman's cape. Despite bludgeon brothering Cena's arm, destroying yep. his own briefcase in the grimmest foreshadowing imaginable, the two men had a really good match, because again, cash in matches should always be a big deal, mm -hmm. before injured Cena scooped Sandow up, planted him with the AA, and handed Sandow the first failed cash in yep. by actually being beaten in Money in the Bank history. Then Sandow immediately plummeted down the card, and it's a shame why all yeah, that, nah, bro, you don't do that. You don't, you don't do that. I don't know why they had to do that just to have him. Oh, man. Once that happened, he was done. He was done. This is where people was like, yo, this is, this is trash, bro. Like, this is, oh, my God. I fell for Damien at this point, bro. His character, at least, bro. These things such a shame. Best number one, Seth Rollins. Yeah, of course it is. The yep. heist of the century, one of the best parachute pull bits of booking in yep. wrestling history. At Mania 31, Money in the Bank's 10th birthday as a concept, no less, WWE pulled off two never-before-seen feats. It was the mm -hmm. first time the briefcase was used to alter an already happening match, and it was the first time yep. it had been cashed in at WrestleMania. Mania, See, man. sometimes a cash-in passes you by. This was fantastic for the sense that we were watching that match. A lot of people had a feeling that Roman was going to be the guy to win because they were building up Roman like this superhero against Brock. The match actually turned out better than I expected it to be. And then all you hear is Seth Rollins run down the ramp, that long-ass ramp, cash in, to win it. Oh my God. And Michael Cole probably said one of the greatest lines he's ever said in WWE. The heist of the century, bro. It was so good. When people think of that WrestleMania, they think of Sting and they think of that cash in. There's no doubt about it, bro. You miss a random episode of Raw and who'd skip an episode of Raw? That'd be madness, am I right? And nope, you missed a cash-in. Not Raw. this year. The main event of WrestleMania. With every single wrestling fan in the world watching. Something we never saw coming. But that fixed every single problem with the WrestleMania main event. With a yep. simple snap of the fingers that protected everyone. Even yep. the guy who we thought didn't need protecting. And perfectly aligned with Rollins' character as the second coming of the ultimate opportunist. Yep. Like the road to the WrestleMania 30 main event the year before. It's a golden example of how WWE... WWE so often presents us with the unthinkable so that when they relent at the last minute, it suddenly feels all the more euphoric, which is a pretty messed up relationship to have with your fan base the more you think about it. But here we go. And worst, number one, oh. Baron Corbin. Oh, what, man. what? Don't get into fights with doctors, I suppose. So the long-standing <sighs> rumor is that backstage, Baron Corbin got into a heated argument with WWE's head of medical, who was giving the superstars a talk, downplaying the effects of concussions and their effect on CTE, which the lone wolf, as a former NFL player, took reasonable exception to. Unfortunately, putting the doc on blast in front of the boys drew a ton of heat on Corbin, which, armed with him also calling a member of the troops a loser on Twitter, gave birth to this utter humiliation. Wow, I didn't Corbin know that. Corbin won the briefcase at Money in the Bank 2017, then the Smackdown before SummerSlam, cashed it in on a beat down Jinder Mahal, got distracted by Cena, rolled up and pinned in six f***ing seconds. Take I remember name. seeing that happen, but I didn't know that's kind of the why they screwed him over like that. I mean, he has a right to feel some type of way about concussions and CTE. That's a real thing. And the fact that that bro, that's cold blooded. That's messed up. You essentially derailed his push because of he had an opinion about something. Like, oh, that's, that'd be the, oh, that's cold, bro. Edison, I guess. Bleak stuff, easily the worst cash in of no, all time. I will never understand WWE's habit of disciplining people by severely compromising their character in yeah. public. But here we go. The world's most wasted briefcase and I've made myself sad. And that's our list. What are your favorite and least favorite Money in the Bank cash-ins? Let us know. This was a dope video, man. It, it definitely put in perspective of how these cash-ins can work and how sometimes they, they fail miserably so hopefully this year whoever wins respectively um on the women's side of things and the men's side of things hopefully they legitimately give them a right push and we can see some new stars rising up at the top of the card man i would i'm very interested to see i just hope somehow 
can keep Drew McIntyre away from it or whatever. Like, I, I don't know what they're going to do with Drew. He doesn't need no more title opportunities. And got to be someone new. Got to be someone fresh. And I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there. So, comment down below. Let me know. Who would you guys want to win this year's Money in the Bank? I would love to get your guys' opinions on that. But I appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 20K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.